Coming up, approaching double digits, nine days in the search for escape killer Gonzalo Lopez. More details ahead, KRHD on the scene. Plus, a busy day for police officers in Bryan and College Station. A series of shootings and accidents will bring you those latest details tonight. Also, it was hot on tap today, but we can't rule out a shower slipping in overnight. Better chances for rain for the weekend and week ahead. We'll break down your forecast coming up. Your KRHD News starts right now. Connecting the Brazos Valley, this is KRHD News. Well, it was a busy end of the week for law enforcement. Good evening and thanks for joining us on your 10 o'clock news. I'm Garrett Hoddle. Brian police responding to three shootings just in 24 hours. The latest occurring around 530 earlier today off of Spruce Wood and Pepper Tree. This is the second shooting in that general area today. Police don't believe they're connected, but they responded there earlier right around 530 to gunshots in a situation escalating from a fight. There they found two adult victims, a male and female, who were both found with gunshot wounds and transported to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Hundreds of neighbors and a substantial police presence were there near the scene after the gunshots rang out. I know as soon as our first officers got here, I can attest that they were asking, we need more units out here, we need more units out here, and it was likely due to the large amount of people that had crowded this area. And earlier, police said they're still searching for possible suspects. If you have any information, you're encouraged to contact Brian PD. You can do so and remain anonymous. You can also find the information to do that on our website. Also, that second shooting that happened in the general area this morning, Bryan police made an arrest in connection to that on Poplar Circle that left one person injured. Just after 1030 this morning, reports of a shooting in the area were made at the scene. Officers found and detained Jason Bryant Franklin. He was charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Franklin and his roommate, the victim, were in an argument prior to the shooting. He was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries as well. This was the second shooting again in that same general area, but police do not believe they're connected.